everybody, it's Jed Johnson from DieselCrew.com. They call me Napalm. And today I'm going to answer a question that came in. And it's from Anthony Gorsuch. And the question is, what are hub plates? I made mention of hub plates in a recent video. It caught his ear and he wants to know more about hub plates. So this is what I'm talking about right here. If we look down on the floor, you can see that these two plates are quite different. This is a, I don't know what kind, bar, old standard barbell plate. I don't know where it came from or anything. This is a York barbell plate, probably from the 70s, 80s, 90s, who knows. But the one thing you can see right away is that the York is a much thicker plate. These old school Yorks are much thicker and they have a much more well-defined hub in the center of them. Now, hub lifting is actually putting your fingers and your thumb on the hub of a plate in kind of a claw grip and lifting it up off the ground in that nature. What a hub plate is, is a plate that's got a good hub on it. So this one has a good size hub on it, so that would be a, a hub plate. This one, the, the hub is very, very shallow and it's actually sloped. So I'll tell you what, if anybody can hub lift that, they are the man. Let's just put it that way. I suck at hub lifting. So, uh, and I, I never train it. It's there, I just see no use for it in, the, in, in, my, in my training, to be honest. But I don't get any benefit out of it. But anyway, you know, some plates just lend themselves better to hub lifting than others. So I'll give you another example. Maybe I can find one here. Okay, so that plate there is a fitness gear plate. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's a little bit thicker than most plates you'll see, but the hub is straight up and down. It doesn't have the slope like the York plate does over there. That, York, that slope on the York plate makes it really hard to pinch in a hub grip. This one is much more easy to lift because the hub is straight, so you get a better bite on it. It's not a big, huge plate. Some of them are, are straight like that, but actually taller, so it makes them easier to lift. And that one is somewhere in the middle. I can usually lift that when I try. That hub over there, that York, eh, not very good chance. That really slim plate right there with the with the sloped hub, no. I, I'll probably never lift that just because I'll, I'll never put in the time to do it. Now what's cool is some companies have made hub lifting devices to, to train for this. All right, like Iron Mind has a hub. Uh, here's a homemade hub from a guy named Joe Musselwhite. Jackson Strong, brother. Um, there's other devices. There's the Shallow Hub from World of Grip. And I've got this one, that one right there. That's the Shallow Hub. Um, that's from the Grip Tops collection. Uh, and I actually sell my own type of hub lifting device called a bull ring. So I've got two sizes, and this doubles as both a hub style gripper and an extensor lift device. Okay, so you can put the, your fingers in here and train the extensors. I actually sell these. It's called the bull ring. A really good way to strengthen your extensors without doing boring rubber bands. I don't like boring training. I like to do stuff that's cool and fun. And extensor work can be pretty boring, especially if you're using rubber bands. Now, they do make some pretty cool tools called, uh, they're called hand expands. I don't have any down here, unfortunately, so I, so I can't show you. But if you could imagine a high, a high strength rubber band with, with actual spots to put your fingers and then you work in this manner you know that's exactly what they are so they're cool because rubber bands will slide up your hand when you when you when you extend your fingers these ones don't slide around so so they're pretty cool but uh 
<clears throat> um, still, it's awesome to to do to do something where you can actually lift weight, and that's what the bowl ring allows you to do. Maybe one day I'll do a video uh, explaining how these work. Since I sell them, it would probably be a pretty good idea for people to know about them. All right, everybody. Well, uh, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe now because these videos are awesome. You can't live without them. All right? Any questions on stuff you'd like to see, let me know. In the meantime, all the best in your training. Take care.